and welcome back to Bandajar. So this is the build guide for the laser cut brick built line side hut. Um, this is just for, for the build. A couple of subscribers and buyers have asked if we just do a separate build uh, video and then a uh, paint one um, as a standalone video. So we'll put the link to that uh, in the description down below as soon as that's uh, complete in a week or so. But today's just going to be the build for this uh, relatively simple kit. But there's maybe a few things just want to point out as we go, just to uh, maybe help you make some choices uh, as you as you construct your uh, your own hut. So this is made from uh, a few different materials. So we've got uh, a two mil MDF for the for the walls. Uh, the doors and the windows are made from uh, what they call laser board, which is quite a strong um, sort of fibre board. The roof tiles there on this uh, sort of black card, which is uh, again quite tough. It's not just normal card, and uh, and we've added some windows in, some uh, etched um, sort of glass in there just to uh, just for effects. You can uh, have no glass or plain glass, whatever you choose. So the uh, main structure, say, is, is MDF. We'll, uh, we'll start with that first. It depends on how you're going to build and how you intend to paint, in which order you want to put things together. Um, but let's start with the, um, with the four walls. So there's our four walls. And they've got these sort of brick finger joints at the end. And they're quite a nice tight fit. And... Uh, the uh, the end walls there, they are interchangeable. They're both exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. There's no left or right. They are both both identical. It depends on how you um, say how you want to paint your model. You may want to add the uh, the doors and the windows in at this point here. So before it's uh, before the walls are attached, it does make it a little bit simpler. So the doors in this particular kit, there's uh, there's options for two types of doors you can have a normal panel door or one with glass so the overlay is the same uh, but there's two backings which have, which uh, contain the hinge it's got a small etch down one side and as you bend that that can create the hinge if you want to leave it closed just don't just don't bend it basically uh, and then the overlay goes on the top and then you can attach it via that uh, sort of hinge section and then you can pose your door open or closed or anywhere in between. Like so. Now if you use the other one, the one with the the, uh, the cutout at the top, that will be for the uh, glazed version. So again, you, you just uh, attach that bit to there. Put the overlay over the uh, sort of hinge part and then the glass at the back and uh, that's the uh, the effect complete so for uh, me my personal preference is to uh, construct the four walls uh, and then we'll paint them and then we can add in the uh, the painted uh, doors and windows and then fit the roof etc uh, it just makes it easier to um, to paint the doors and uh, and the window, especially if you're going to add glass. So we'll attach it to the uh, to the base. Now it's not essential to do that. It just makes it nice and square. Um, just just uh, yeah, it's just going to make it make it square. And we're going to use uh, rocket uh, glue. This is uh, quite nice. It, it sets after uh, you know. A minute or so so it gives you a little bit of time to uh, just make some adjustments you can use PVA glue or you could use uh, even super glue whatever you uh, whatever you choose to model with so the finger joints go together quite nice and uh, and snugly uh, and they have a nice satisfying sort of squeak as they uh, fit into place so uh, just have a little uh, take a little look at those and just make sure they fit it together nice and uh, nice and tightly now 
Now my preference is to uh, glue from the inside. So you, I fitted no glue as you saw. It was a bit. Uh, it was a, a clean join there. Let's just push that in so it fits. Um, because if you glue the uh, along the finger joints as you as the glue sets, it will fill in the the mortar uh, joins, and so you lose some of that detail. So I just like to do it from the inside there. It will find its own way in and uh, create its own join. And then we're going to attach it to the base there. So this uh, rocket glue is really runny uh, at this particular stage, so it will go all over the uh, the bottom if you're not careful. Like that. There you go. Um, so yeah, just take care with the uh, with the rocket glue, and uh, maybe be a bit more careful than I'm being here. So we shall just uh, put those pieces together and then we'll let them dry. While that's doing uh, that, we'll put the other two pieces together. So the other uh, side wall and the other end wall. Again, just press into place to make sure you've got your um, uh, the orientation correct. I think it's exactly the same actually, whichever way around, I don't think you can get it wrong. I think that's the way it was designed. Uh, so clip that into place and then uh, as if by magic um, that's it all uh, all assembled so I don't think I need to show you how that works uh, so just glued along each joint line you can see and um, and that will uh, hopefully maintain the, the detail on the brick corners so we're going to fit the doors next uh, for this one we're going to choose the uh, the glazed option so we need the, uh, the the hinge with the cutout, and the hinge goes on the right hand side of this particular one, and the door. There we go. You can see the little door knobby hole type thing, um, and that just goes on the on the left hand side like that. So we need to glue that on, and. Going to try and be uh, sparing with the glue. Difficult with rocket glue, it either comes out or it doesn't. It's uh, difficult to maintain the flow. It's quite free flowing, so just uh, just be careful of that. All over the fingers, and we'll just pop that into place. And then that will dry fairly quickly. Now included in the kit you'll find some of this uh, sort of frosted glass effect, uh, sort of PVC. So it's a small piece for the uh, door and a larger piece for the window. So we're going to use the small piece for the door. And I'm going to use uh, for that uh, super glue. Now I um, always have a problem with super glue and if I, if I normally end up putting my elbow in it. So I tend to put it on a piece of... Uh, bright tape so blue in this case and then I'll use a cocktail stick and um, just apply it uh, exactly where I need it to basically uh, because it's on a bit of blue tape I, uh, I'll see it it'll be more obvious so I just need to uh, attach that now these um, these woods are porous, so if you take too long with your uh, your super glue, apart from it drying, it will soak in completely, and uh, it won't work. So uh, just just be careful with that. Make sure you put enough on to uh, to attach the glass, uh, but not too much. That it seeps all over the place and ruins the effect of your glass. The windows. Um, we're just going to attach the uh, the frosted glass to that. Doing it the same way. A bit of super glue lay the glass over the top now you may choose to not have the glass at all if you're going to have a derelict building uh, you can leave the glass out completely or uh, you may just want to break a few panes have a bit missing um, whatever effect you would choose so just get rid of the super glue 
and then we need to add this into place there's one more piece to fit which is the windowsill and that will just uh, clip into there nice and snugly uh, a bit of a rocket glue uh, probably a bit too much there and that just sits along the top line of the uh, of the bricks there we go yeah, far too much and we'll let that dry uh, as we uh, as we carry on so at this point I would be painting all of the uh, all of the brickwork and uh, adding all the effects I want for the brickwork before I fit the doors and the windows um, it just saves me masking up things like doors and windows and uh, obviously with the glazing in that's gonna be a bit of a nightmare um, I would have in fact painted the um, the doors and the windows before I had the glazing anyway um, and we'll do that in our next uh, our next build but for this one just wanted to show you how it all goes together so to fit the door we're just going to glue along the hinge now if you uh, wanted to you could pose it closed so I just wouldn't um, sort of break that edge of the of the hinge area there uh, and just fit it completely flat but in this particular case we're going to pose it very slightly open pop it into place and let it set and you can move the door once it's uh, once the hinge is set anyway um, to pose it further open or closed window goes in there depends on how big your hands are you may need to use tweezers so once you're happy with that piece uh, we need to now fit the uh, the roof and the tiles So the two roof sides are uh, exactly the same. They just clip together. Uh, you use a bit of glue on those. And that will just hang over the top. There's about a millimetre overhang uh, either side, left and right. We'll just add a little bit of uh, glue along the top edge just to start with. Now because the apex isn't exactly 90 degrees um, I would suggest that while the uh, while your rocket glue is still uh, is still wet on the uh, along the top edge is that you glue it into place and then it'll find its uh, its own angle and uh, fit correctly so just drop it into place just remember there is a slight overhang about a millimeter either end I think it is that's uh, and that's it the uh, the etch lines on there you'll see what they're there for in a minute if you've not worked it out I'm sure you have uh, but they need to go on the outside if uh, if you want to use the lines for the next stage so once we're all uh, all dry with that we need to uh, carry on with the roof tiles So our roof tiles come on two sheets. They are sheet A and sheet B, uh, which I thought was uh, a novel way of, uh, <laughs> not at all, of, uh, of naming them. The, uh, they are exactly the same apart from, if you can see the uh, the tiles uh, are lined slightly different. So on set A, the uh, the tile on the left is a full size tile. On set B, the uh, tile on the left is a half tile. So that gives like a stagger effect. So you'd uh, use uh, a strip from A, strip from B, strip from A, and so on, till you get to the top. Now I would, uh, for painting, paint these while they're on the card. 
So if you're going to use a different color or you want to add like a lichen effect uh, or weathered effect, do it while it's on the card. And then I would cut each one out and um, keep all the A's together, all the B's together, mix them up um, so then they come out more randomly uh, and you get that random effect um, of tiles. Now the tiles are held in, or the tile strips are held in with just a um, small sort of half a millimetre uh, tab at each end. You just need to cut those free. If you're doing the whole lot, just cut it out with scissors. It's only up to you. So this is um, tile strip A. Now the very first one goes on that deeper one at the bottom. Start from the bottom and work up. And then align it with the uh, with the edge. They should line up exactly. That's it. Popped it into place. And then we do uh, set B. So one of the tile strips from set B. Now just one thing to bear in mind, or two things actually, is that um, we don't need to do the very very top one. So just go up to the uh, the line towards the top and then when you do the other side I would start from the bottom but start with set B uh, this just keeps the, the pattern correct for when it gets to the apex so you can see the uh, the tile effect, so it's always staggered from uh, left to right. There's a, there's a half tile offset, and then we're going to use tile A again. I'm sure you get the idea of it. So I'm going to pause the video shortly, just while I continue with this. Uh, you'd pause the video as well while you're doing your uh, your kit, and I will meet you literally on the other side of the uh, on the other side of the roof basically And there we go, as if by magic. So that's all now complete. So we've just got the roof uh, ridge tiles to fit. Uh, they are slightly longer than the uh, than the others. That's why there's a gap like that. Uh, the ridge tiles, there's two in each. Um, there's one on set A and one on set B. They're both exactly the same. So you use whichever one you want. Um, there is an etch line down the middle just so you can fold it. Uh, you can do it carefully by hand or you may have a a tool or uh, a ruler that you can use if you uh, feel better off doing it that way and if you've uh, started with set A on one side and set B on the other then you should um, you should be able to orientate that correctly so that the pattern is uh, correct on both sides if you haven't then um, you'll uh, Probably be best to uh, orientate so it looks correct from the side you're going to be viewing your model. But yeah, if you start with uh, A on side one on the front and B on the back, uh, it will actually work out correct by the time it gets to the top. So we're just going to glue that into place. That's our roof tiles done. So our last piece to fit these four, um, I'm not sure they call soffit balls. I'm not sure uh, they go along the edge anyway. Just to kind of finish it off, just a nice little trim. You can see it just joins there at the top of the apex. They are all exactly the same, so uh, there's no uh, there's no right and wrong. 
So a bit of our glue on there. To place and then we're going to do the same with the other one and then on the same on the other end uh, that literally completes the build um, for this particular kit so if you come to this video via the link on the uh, on the front of your kit then um, thanks for your purchase we uh, we do appreciate that obviously if you've just come across this uh, video as a recommendation or um, or you're one of our subscribers then uh, again thanks for viewing the uh, there is a link in the description to uh, to be able to purchase this kit on our web store so uh, do go and check out that and some of the other buildings that we've got on there at the moment um, that's basically it for today so um, thank you for watching, um, thank you for joining us uh, today at Bunters Yard, thank you for your support, um, it's all, uh, all greatly appreciated. So here's a couple of pictures of uh, the finished kit. And here's one that we painted earlier. So until next time. Um, we'll see you uh, at Bunters Yard. Stay safe. We'll speak soon. Bye for now.